In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Jordan and Brian, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you, together with your families and friends, as today, in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you in this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. Let us pray. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadow the sacrament of Christ and his church, grant, we pray, to these your servants that what they receive in faith they may live out in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. This time I invite everyone to please be seated as we listen to the Word of God together. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild bird animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none proved to be of the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. While he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his mother, his father and mother, and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Just a couple words of encouragement before we can get on to our vows for Jordan and Brian together. We're coming together on this big day, right? <laughs> big, joyful day for Jordan and Brian. They're all smiles up here. It's great. <laughs> Giggles, laughter. It's wonderful stuff. Um, in working with them and kind of preparing for marriage a little bit, um, I've kind of come to see how excited they are, right? <laughs> You're very excited to come to this big day, right? Wonderful day. Um, the last time we talked, it was maybe, I don't know, about a month or so ago, a couple more, a couple more weeks, who knows, around about then, uh, we talked, and Jordan was telling me how she can get a little emotional at times, <laughs> right? That's kind of part of who she is. She can get a little worked up, and that's, that's a wonderful thing about her. But she was telling me just about how the night before, right, the night before we were meeting, she had kind of gotten overwhelmed, right, with all the wedding plans and preparations and everything going into it, and it was just kind of too much for her. So what did she do? You remember what you told me? You went to Brian, right? You went to Brian, kind of came together, as partners, right? He was your partner, you were her partner, to overcome that little bit of emotional swell and bring things back down to a good equilibrium, right? Wonderful moment, right? Wonderful loving moment. That's exactly what we were hearing about. That's exactly what the scriptures were telling us in our first reading from the book of Genesis, right? God tells us it's not good to be alone. It isn't. So he decided to make a suitable partner, right? Not a servant, right? <laughs> Not a superior, but a partner. That's how God envisions marriage for us. 
that two people come together in partnership, to be helpers for one another. In those good times and bad, right, when things get overwhelming, we're there for each other. That's what it means. Ultimately, husbands and wives come together as partners, as helpers, to help get each other to eternal life, get to heaven. That's what marriage, the sacrament of marriage, is all about. It's your job, Jordan, and it's your job, Ryan, to help each other get to heaven. That's what your partnership's all about. But the rest of us have a role in it too, right? It's not just on them, right? Marriage is about the whole community as well, that we help them, right? In their struggles and their difficulties, they have their love, their partnership for each other, but we show them our love as well. That's why we're all gathered here for the wedding, all right? We're not here for a show or just for the meal. We're here to express our love for Jordan and Brian and help them in the foundation. Love it. You have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. For a, sacrament, for a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Jordan and Brian, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Yes. <laughs> Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His church. Brian, Take Jordan to be your wife. Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life? I do. Jordan, do you take Brian to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? May the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God who joined together our first parents in paradise, strengthen and bless in Christ the consent you have declared before the church, so that what God joins together, no one may put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. Jordan, Jordan, receive this ring. Receive this ring as a sign. As a sign of my love, my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. <laughs> Brian, Brian, receive this ring. Receive this ring as a sign. As a sign of my love. Of my love and fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Now let us humbly invoke God's blessing upon this bride and groom, that in his kindness he may favor with his 
help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of holy matrimony. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man, and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing not forfeited by original sin or washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants, joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit, and pour your love into their hearts, that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May your grace of love and peace abide in your daughter Jordan, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband entrust his heart to her, so that, acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do. With the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. And grant that, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it is now my joy, honor, and privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Mack. Yeah.